Hey guys, so today's video is going to be um, a review for VersaSpot. Uh, VersaSpot, if you guys don't know, it's a um, it's a spray tan machine that um, it's kind of like a a capsule type deal that you get in and the machine sprays you. So you like turn this way and it sprays you, and you turn the other way and it sprays you, and it gives you a it obviously gives you a spray tan. So I've personally haven't um, done a spray tan from VersaSpot in probably three or four years. And the reason being is because last time I did it, it was very, it was very orange. It came out splotchy, and especially when it started to fade, it was really gross looking, and it looked like I had leprosy, and it was not, um, it was not attractive. So we, I've heard that um, there have been a lot of improvements in VersaSpot in the past several years. So hopefully uh, today's session is going to you know, be bit way better than um, my sessions a long time ago were. Um, let me show you what I look like now. So the this is my skin color now, and I'm going to kind of do before and after um, after I do it. So the only reason that I'm not like the same color as this wall right here is because I um, recently did a tan in a bed, and I know that is super, super bad, and my skin has, it's actually skin turn my skin into shit um, so I do not condone tanning beds and um, I may do another video later on um, giving you examples of how it has really um, made my skin look awful but uh, the reason that I do still do it is um, sometimes is uh, because I am very 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 fair and it's very hard for me to tan in the sun and um, when I do do like rub on tanners when they fade there's a big difference in terms of the color of the tanner and then my actual skin underneath so it's like white sheet of paper and then the brown tan stuff that fades um anyways so that is why i still do it i know it's super bad um basically i have a mindset of my skin's already fucked up how worse can it get obviously it can probably get um, pretty bad but i am um the reason i'm trying this versus spot is because i'm getting trying to get away from tanning in a bed because it is super, super bad for you. Um, but yeah, so this is the color of my skin now. If you guys can, I don't know why I'm doing these motions. Um, it's not super, like I'm not super, super pale today. Um, but we'll see what the Versa Spa does. So um, I think I'm going to, I'm not really sure how exactly it still works, whether you can choose a color I think you can do like a medium or a dark color. I'll probably do a dark color just to see how dark it can get. Hopefully I won't turn out like an Oompa Loompa or like Jersey Shore or like just the color orange. Um, <laughs> but um, I'll take you guys with me in terms of um, like the process and stuff. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, I'm back. So um, today is the morning. Um, after I got my Versa Spy spray tan and um, let me just first show you the color and then I'll tell you my experience overall. So um, I had a really hard time finding good lighting this morning. Um, it was super yellow everywhere and I was kind of just like um, making the tan look weird. So this is the best lighting I could find. So um, let me step back if you guys can see. So hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so the overall, let me adjust it real fast. Um, the overall experience was, it was okay. Now, um, in terms of the way that my color turned out, um, it was, it's very, um, it's very dark. And I did get the darkest option um, to spray. However, I still think that it's orange. Like, I still feel like that it's orange, and um, especially my legs, you can, um, it's quite dark outside right now, but if I, if I were to go in the sun, I feel like they would look even more orangey. It's not so bad right now. Um, in terms of, I guess, coverage, how it sprayed me all over, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, there are some areas, like on my, um, on my wrist here 
and um, maybe on my feet where it didn't um, it didn't get it as even. Um, also, um, what else? The pull process took a really long time. Like I didn't remember it taking this long last time. It was like um, it was like maybe 30 minutes, like 30 full minutes. I feel like that's kind of a long time. I just expect to go in there and get sprayed and you're done with that. So what you do is um, you, when you go up to the person at the front, the cashier or the worker or whatever, um, you let them know what color you want. And um, she asked me if I want like an extra pass on my legs, like where it goes over your legs an extra time. And um, if I wanted like a moisture coat. So um, I'll tell you right now, waking up, it does not feel like I got a moisture coat, even though I know I did. Uh, your skin is so dry, it is super dry, and like it feels kind of like, like crackly and dry. Um, yeah, so when I got into the room, um, they told you to put on like a barrier cream over your nails and on the bottoms of your feet because those areas tend to soak up the most tan. So I did a little bit of that. I did some on the palm of my hands, which I guess you can't really tell that I did because they're still kind of orangey. And um, but yeah, so I step in the step in the machine. It like tells you to press the green light whenever you're ready. Um, I press the light, and the thing sprays you from like the bottom up, and then there's a um, mist of like dryer. So like it sprays you once, and then this thing dries you, and you like change positions. So there's like four positions you have to do. One is like this, then this, then this, and then like backwards. So um, you have to do all that and they, they provide you with these little nose plugs that you can put into your nose to prevent your, prevent from like smelling the chemicals that come out from the spray. Cause it's, I mean, it's not good for you. Um, and they give you eyeglasses. So, I didn't wear both, and this is the reason why. So the eyeglasses, or the little goggles, they had a string, and I was paranoid that the string would like caught, it would like look like there was a line there when I took it off. And then also with the nose plugs, um, there was two, and there's like a little strip underneath your nose where it hooks, so I was afraid that would not get tan, so there would be like a weird white line. So I didn't use either of those. Um, I definitely feel like it was, uncomfortable in the sense of like when they spray you for you to not breathe in the fumes and you know you can only hold your breath for like so long and then like you know after you stop spraying the you know this the mist the tanning mist is still in the air so it's not like you can get a big you know like gulp of fresh air so that was kind of uncomfortable um and then i i, I don't know i just feel like it took too long it's not something that i would go to and get done and like be looking forward to because it, to me it felt like just kind of a hassle um so i haven't showered yet so we'll see how much of this comes off in the shower um i'm definitely gonna put and i feel like they tell you not to do this they're like don't put don't use lotion that you have at home because it has blah blah and blah in it and it's gonna help your tan fade and you know all this other stuff it has like alcohol in it or something, but, um, and they like ask you to buy their lotion, which I'm not going to do because I really don't care that much. So, um, I'm just going to use my own lotion and, um, see if my skin feels, still feels really dry afterwards. But, um, overall so far, um, I think I went to, so I went to a place called Palm Beach Tan and they had, um, like a special going on to where it was like, uh, 29 something. I think the regular price is 45 so first of all I won't, I'm not going to pay $29 again I would never pay $45 for something like this um, it's I would rather go to a person that actually sprays you like an airbrush tan salon which um, I'm going to go to soon and I'll do a review on that one as well um, but yeah overall I would probably you know it's nice it looks nice and um, but I feel like parts of it look orange. If I were in a swimsuit outside in the sun, I think you could definitely notice the parts that aren't even. And um, especially if I were to go out to swim or um, you know be in the water, 
my skin would be super super dry and also one more thing one more thing one more thing and this is i feel like with every um spray tan or um a tan that you rub on like uh sage trope um you know zen tan or anything like that they um they don't stay on in the pool so chlorine removes it i've had this experience i've had, I always have this experience every summer to where i go into the pool and i'm super tan i come out like really really splotchy and i'm like oh my gosh the chlorine is eating um, away at my tan so that's embarrassing but um yeah so that was my experience um i'm gonna do a i'm gonna do a an airbrush one soon so i'll let you guys know um how that one goes as well all right bye